Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's webinar featuring KNX member Airzone. It's my pleasure to host this webinar uh, representing KNX here from Belgium. And of course, I'm also more than pleased to have two great speakers from the company Airzone then speaking about HVAC solutions using KNX so far from my side. And therefore, without further ado, I would like to hand over to my uh, co-presenters here from the company Airzone that will explain how to fully integrate uh, with KNX using Airzone smart HVAC control solutions. So let me hand over therefore to our team. Yes, hi Christian, thank you. And uh, it's here. Hello. Perfect. Well, I'm going to start. Um, my name is uh, Itzeri Barguren. Uh, I work at Arizona and I'm responsible for the Central, Northern and Eastern European countries. And uh, well, I'm going to present uh, shortly the history of uh, Arizona. So uh, what's uh, Arizona, uh, our company? Over recent years, uh, Airzone has undergone enormous international growth, uh, establishing the company as a global benchmark for smart cultural systems. We have uh, more than uh, 20 years of uh, experience in the HVAC uh, sector and uh, we are benchmark of uh, innovation. Our headquarters are located in South Spain, in uh, Malaga, and one of uh, our bigger markets are France, Italy, uh, Germany, the United States of America and also Australia. But uh, we work uh, worldwide, as I said before, and uh, we have uh, distributors in, uh, in many different countries. We collaborate directly and indirectly with uh, numerous companies in the HVAC sector, uh, both in Europe and on other continents. Speaking about uh, how we work, uh, everything uh, at Arizona is done by ourselves. Uh, all the activities of the company are coordinated and executed from the head office here in uh, Malaga. Everything is manufactured in, uh, in Spain and uh, Arizona has numerous uh, specialized departments that work to offer the best service in the respective uh, areas like uh, R&D, operations, marketing, quality, projects, uh, electronics, etc. Uh, Arizona has an intensive business model that covers all stages of the product life cycle from the concept uh, to installation and commissioning. And uh, well, Arizona's main concern is uh, to always offer maximum quality. And uh, for this reason, it coordinates and directly implements uh, all the phases uh, of the product cycle from the first design uh, and quality control right uh, through packaging and distribution. So well, what's uh, Arizona? We are specialized in uh, control systems for the HVAC industry and uh, what can be controlled with the Arizona system is uh, mainly any kind of HVAC installation. Thanks to all-in-one device, uh, Arizona Systems uh, can control a multi-zoning unit uh, using multiple thermostats or controls, uh, single uh, zone units from a single thermostat, uh, and also the underfloor heating and cooling. And that's uh, something uh, really special because we are the, the, the only brand uh, worldwide that is able to control the, the AC and, and the radiant elements from one single thermostat. Arizona offers uh, different benefits uh, such as uh, energy efficiency, uh, improvement in thermal comfort, uh, centralized and remote control, the integration of different types of uh, technologies and the integration of uh, radiation emission systems. In addition, in heating and uh, air, an air cooling system and equipped with underflow heating and cooling, the user can uh, the user has a combined mode uh, available. And this is the best mode to get the desired temperature in, uh, in a room. 
Uh, well, as I said before, uh, we have a unique integration solution for the HVAC installation and our systems were um, conserved to perfectly integrate with any type of uh, HVAC installation. They are compatible with all the main manufacturers of AC units, uh, the leading uh, manufacturers uh, of the sector, and they are adapted to, to any kind of building, uh, from detached homes and residential blocks up to offices, uh, clinics, businesses, etc. And furthermore, uh, our devices can also be integrated into building management systems, into BMS uh, systems. And uh, the management of our systems can be included uh, as an HVAC control element in KNX system using a gateway, an integration gateway we have uh, special for, for KNX or uh, our IDU KNX um, controller or device. So uh, how do we communicate uh, with the uh, HVAC units? Aerosol control electronics are made up of uh, different devices, but the main element is the communication gateway. Uh, this device can be integrated with the majority of manufacturers of a uh, AC units, uh, thanks to Aerosol's huge uh, R&D effort. In the study of uh, each manufacturer's proprietary protocol, so we work together with the leading uh, HVAC manufacturers uh, to develop uh, the communication gateways. And uh, this enables two-way communication between uh, aerosol zoning systems and the, and the AZ um, unit uh, controlling the following uh, functionalities. Uh, switching the AZ unit uh, on or off, uh, operating mode, uh, cooling, uh, heating, ventilation, or dehumidification, <clears throat> uh, in the unit's uh, fan speed, and AZ unit set point temperature. And these functionalities are controlled in accordance uh, with the parameters of each zone, like uh, room temperature, relative humidity, and the set point temperature uh, defined uh, by the user, and the return temperature uh, measured by the AZ unit. And finally, uh, I have the Arizona Cloud uh, web server and uh, an internet connection. If you have the web server and an internet connection, uh, the user can access uh, information about the cost of energy and the weather forecast. Shortly to explain uh, some of the features of the Arizona system, we have uh, developed our own algorithms, uh, control algorithms. And one, the first one I would like to explain you is the QAdapt. This is an um, algorithm that controls the Indo unit's fan speed. And the QAdapt uh, has uh, five pre-configured modes. This is minimum, uh, silence, standard, power, maximum. And these modes are designed to prioritize uh, control of the noise level or airflow rate. And this way offers a solution for all types of installations, uh, whether residential or tertiary. And the speed is automatically uh, selected uh, depending on the number of sounds on demand. Then we have the echo adapt uh, algorithm that controls the set point temperature. And the echo adapt uh, has several pre-configured uh, modes available uh, from lower to higher. Uh, these levels of efficiency, uh, efficiency are of A, A plus and A plus plus. So in the first place, uh, Equadapt uh, limits the temperature that the user can select as a zone uh, set point temperature. So if A plus uh, plus is elected when cooling, the lowest permitted set point temperature is 26 degrees. And when heating, the highest permitted set uh, set point temperature is 21 degrees. If a, uh, a plus mode is selected, uh, when cooling, the lowest permitted set point temperature is 25 degrees, and uh, when heating, the highest permitted uh, set point temperature is 21.5 degrees. And if A mode is selected, when cooling, the lowest permitted set point temperature is 24 degrees, and when heating, the highest permitted set point temperature will be 22 degrees. And if off mode is elected when cooling, the lowest permitted set point temperature is 
18 degrees and when heating the highest uh, permitted uh, that point temperature is or will be 30 degrees. Uh, furthermore, uh, ECODAPT uh, established is the unit set point temperature. According uh, to the set point temperatures, uh, the return temperature measured by the AC unit and a dynamic uh, temperature differential. And this uh, differential will be greater when off mode is selected and uh, in this way prioritizing comfort. So on the other hand, AA plus and A plus plus modes are selected. Uh, this uh, differential will be lower, uh, prioritizing the consumption. Finally, and something really important for the end users are the controllers, the thermostats. Uh, these are the three models that we have currently available, made in uh, steel and, uh, and glass. And uh, well, these aerosol control solutions uh, place the, the latest HVAC technology in the hands of the user, and they facilitate the achievement of greater thermal comfort at the same time as optimizing the energy use. And their operation is based on aerosol control is based on aerosol communication gateways uh, that enable uh, perfect two-way communication between uh, the Israeli uh, control system and the AC unit. And uh, these devices can control the switching on and switching off uh, of the AC unit, the selection of the operation, uh, operating mode, uh, managing the temperature of the unit and accessing to errors uh, among many other functionalities. And uh, well, the operation functions uh, offered by aerosol systems are controlled and managed uh, either via um, a designer line of smart thermostats or from a mobile device uh, through the Arizon cloud application through, as I said before, the web server. As you can see, they have user-friendly interfaces, uh, a single interface per zone to achieve full control of the HVAC installation, controlled both uh, through heating, cooling, uh, and uh, AC uh, in each room and equadapt functionality. And well, finally, I would like to, to explain to you, all of you that we always say that Arizona is not a product, Arizona is a solution because we offer a wide range of help to all our customers. So, Erzon's mission is to ensure optimum professional cover, and that's why the company does not limit itself to simply selling uh, mm -hmm. the systems, uh, but rather offers uh, multiple uh, complementary services to its clients that allow them uh, to simplify their work and achieve uh, unbeatable results. Um, we have a project department which is uh, composed by the technical office, who has developed a platform that allows a project to be implemented in three different ways for the, uh, for the user's convenience. Uh, likewise, it offers its clients specialized software programs and other useful tools such as uh, connection schemes, energy studies, and standard projects. And the company is also available to the designer for any kind of consultancy uh, related to the project, like uh, load calculation, energy op optimization, etc. Then we also have our uh, technical support <clears throat> and uh, we have an efficient uh, support service. And thanks to this, uh, any user can access uh, information about how to install our solutions how to use the system and how to resolve any technical issue. The user can also access uh, compatibility tables to check the compatibility between in the unit and, uh, and the system and consult all the technical documentation uh, for all the products. And uh, for greater convenience, uh, this service also includes a uh, FAQ section which is uh, updated according to the most common uh, queries uh, made by, by users. And in case of any failure, uh, Arizona has a professional up to sales team uh, available to resolve any kind of, uh, of problem.
Finally, I would like to speak about uh, the training department. Uh, we have an academy. We have developed an academy uh, that offers training modules up to the expert level in erosion systems. And this allows the academy's users to obtain uh, official certificates, uh, accrediting them as uh, certified installers or consultants and distinguishing them from the competition. So this is a short presentation about Arizona. Um, and well, uh, I will uh, let my colleague uh, Arti uh, explain you the different kind of uh, systems uh, we have available. Um, hello, good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Arti, I'm, I'm an engineer from the uh, projects department, and I'm also a training specialist. <coughs> So from now onwards, since you had a little um, introduction, because most of, of you all don't know Arizona, our company, and uh, my colleague here gave you a small introduction. She said we are a manufacturer of HVAC control systems from Spain and Malaga, and uh, we offer a different range of solutions for all type of uh, HVAC technologies. So I'll explain you shortly what are our projects and solutions depending on the different type of HVAC technologies that can be direct expansion, um, air to water heat pump systems and radiant elements. So starting with um, direct expansion, what are the main features of our systems? As it's here said before, we about the zonification. So you basically can, uh, with one uh, of the um, DX system, sorry, DX unit, you can control um, up to, uh, depending on what system do you use, you can control different type of different number of zones. So how does what does Arizona does at the zone level? At zone level, we Affect it affects to the room um, temperature for each zone, so you can control what temperature you want in each zone. You can also uh, affect to the set point temperature of each zone. This means you can set a temper uh, set point temperature, and then thanks to the system, it will automatically set the zones in demand to that uh, temperature. And also, it affects to the thermal inertia in each each zone. At the system level, thanks to our EcoAdapt and QAdapt algorithm, as uh, it's here explained before, we, you get uh, improved energy efficiency and also you can uh, control the speed of the, of the unit and the temperature. Uh, this is because we get the return temperature to the injured unit value too. So those are um, big points what Arizona does at the zone level and the system level. With, uh, so as I said, we affect the set point temperature and also the fan speed of the inverter control unit. This control allows us to have a increased energy efficiency and uh, thanks to our algorithms and uh, we adapt the installation to a better thermal power. So it also means that you um, have savings in, in electricity and also in installation time. We offer an increased comfort in all the zones, uh, temperature comfort, acoustic control, control comfort too, because there's it's less noisy. And obviously it can you can yeah. use our system in new construction, but also in old if you want to re, uh, refurbish old installations. And also, uh, as you saw the thermostats and how everything is transparent for you, I mean, for the integrators, which is the profile of most of the people today, everything will, all the control that's made by Arizona, it uh, can be controlled with KNX and it will be transparent for you. Uh, so one of the most um, improvement is the aesthetic of the installation. Also, we offer different for direct expansion um, technology. We offer different uh, projects and systems, which are some of uh, them are plug and play. As you can see, an example of this installation. This is uh, our Flexa system, 
And I'll show you in the next slide, which is the clean and the motorized clean we have for also this kind of installation, which was usually um, a residential uh, sector building. So this is our um, easy zone cleaning. It's one of our star projects. It's in a plug and play zoning device and it requires very little work to install and configure it. So it arrives directly from the uh, factory isolated and the attachment to the indoor unit is this uh, from the backside. Uh, it's specifically designed for uh, the indoor unit so that uh, there is no air leaks. The control electronics are integrated into one of the sides of the cleaning and protected by a cover. And the actuators of the dampers are supplied from the factory already wired. In addition, it also incorporates a fresh air intake on each side. So the lower part of each damper section has a here you can see it. Um, sorry, this part is uh, of, is for the air fresh uh, fresh air intake, and this enables both air conditioning and ventilations to be integrated into the same airflow distribution network, which is one of the advantages of, of the system. So depending on the size, uh, we have uh, cleaning for different uh, number of dampers. The ranges go from three to eight. And the diameter uh, of the damper can be, uh, depending on the number of the dampers, the ranges go from eight, uh, sorry, to two to eight. And the diameter we offer for the dampers go from uh, either 200 millimeters or 150. Um, as I said, this uh, plenum are it's perfectly adapted to the indoor unit of different manufacturers. So we have um, systems that control also VRF units. These uh, are for installations of much more zones, for example, in the tertiary sectors, offices or hospitals or any kind of installations. And you can control all type of different AC units. And also this allows uh, the system to be fully integrated with home automation systems. For example, like as we're gonna explain later with KNX. This is an example of an installation of, uh, of one of our systems called Aqua Zone. For uh, we have a detached home, but we don't have only one manufacturer unit. We have different, as you can see a Panasonic unit, then we have a Mitsubishi unit. One of the most um, advantages of this system is that uh, with our uh, Amazon system, you can control different manufacturer individual units up to 32 zones. And this is uh, a very versatile solution. Um, thanks to this, you, have, you can control the uh, different zones and um, is the one that allows the most control, like up to 32 zones, as I said. Um, thanks to our system and the uh, algorithms that they use for this um, system, which are the thermal inertia, combined stage. Combined stage means uh, radiant elements and also air and demand and anti-condensation. We offer uh, improved uh, energy efficiency, also improved comfort, and this results in savings of consumption, installation time, and basically optimization, the cooling and heating production of the, of the system. Uh, since the, um, nowadays the rules and regulations are very restrictive, this is one of our bonus extra points because at the end you're saving also on on refrigerant and the use of refrigerant. And, and thanks to our combined stage algorithm, you can control simultaneously the radiant heating or cooling and also the air demand on each zone. This, at the end, all the benefits for the solutions are basically a unified control from a single thermostat of both air and radiant stages, the optimization of energy consumption and the warranty of total comfort, mm, reduction of installation consumption and centralized management through our control.
the way that the gateway allows the integration of um, aerosol systems is with uh, thanks to the KNX TP1 control. So this is physically the, the gateway. And how do we connect it to our systems? So depending on the Arizona systems that you will use, we have uh, different main control boards, each for one system. And as you can see, it's uh, the, um, basically the gateway is uh, uh, powered uh, via the demotic uh, bus through the main control board and also the KNX installation. You see it's, uh, it's powered both ways. So that's the only thing you have to have into account that need to be on both ways. And then the general recommendations for having a KNX uh, gateway in our systems is to at least have one blue face thermostat. Um, even though it perfectly works with KNX uh, thermostat, we always recommend to have one aerosol blue face thermostat in, in per installation for better uh, diagnosis of errors and also configuration of the system. Then uh, the uh, system, Arizona system should be correctly configured for the communication between both systems. Also, it's recommendable to not to associate uh, objects that are not used on, on, when on the configuration. And if there's more than uh, one system or multiple system uh, that uh, share production, they, you have to have into account that you can have the same mode on multiple systems and the same group uh, addresses. So, yeah, the Arizona system must be correctly configured and uh, basically these are all the uh, recommendations. So, uh, the device is uh, totally compatible with uh, KNX, so you can um, sorry, so you can uh, easily configure it and set it up through through the ETS tool. The setup of the database of in the ETS tool will be performed as usual as you be used to it when um, configuring other other things with uh, other type of installations. And once the database is imported, you will have to select uh, this um, gateway. I just want to note that you will have two different uh, references. This is because we have an old um, first uh, KNX gateway that was used for our previous systems, but the currently one, uh, we have this new one which this uh, reference that are the, the one that you will have to use for the current systems. Uh, you will have to just uh, download the uh, ETS database from our website, and then you can start um, using it. Um, the objects that you can um, control are this, like you can see in the chart, we have the different communication objects and it also, you can see in the chart that it's uh, depending if it, they are reading, if it's only read or also writing objects. Mm, so this depends on, the data type depends on the specification of KNX. And here you can see the values for each object and the possible values of each. Uh, just remember too that you can associate uh, each object with uh, one specific direction group if, and depending on the size of each. And as you can see, we have different objects of status and of control. Uh, we will use the communication objects of control to write on our system from PNX and also the status of the object to inform PNX about a change. All these uh, objects of description in this chart are system parameters. But in the next one, you will see the zone parameters available. For example, here you can see the on and off of a zone. You can see or write in, uh, the set point temperature, check the status and control, and uh, for example, fine cold speed. 
So uh, there are different objects depending on the system parameters or, or zone parameters. Uh, for example, when you can control the fan coil speed thanks to, to, to this, and you can also configure it uh, depending on the, on the zone. How do we uh, connect the ETS? How do we configure it? So this is, um, uh, so you can see this is the, the software and I'm sure you'll be used to it. So for the, in the first place, we will have to configure the parameters depending on the air zone system that you will have. And depending on this, we will have uh, one or different communication objects uh, available for your, for your gateway. For example, here are all the different objects uh, between the communication of the system and the zone one. Uh, as you can see, you have many of the parameters we saw before, like the uh, system operating mode, the system mode status, or the speed or on and off of the, of the zones. Here you can see that the previous image was on the system level, but here on the, on the second slide here underneath are all the objects and parameters that you have available at the zone level. This is uh, just an example of a project, of a very simple project of four zones. Uh, as you can see, you have zone one, uh, two, three, and four. So you can control the different parameters on each zone and each are associated with the group directions. And these are just an example of the basic group direction that you have, and you can control of, uh, HVAC Arizona systems through um, K and X. This is not another on the zone level. It's basically the same, but before it was on the system, and now it's uh, you can see it's marked like for example the the room temperature status. And here it's a small video. You can see. Um, one sec, let me see if we can see it in presentation mode. Yeah, I will put it on the same time. So you can see how we have here. Uh, the KNX thermostat and our Airstone Blue thermostat and the communication between them and what is, ha is happening behind on the ETS uh, program. So you can see simultaneously the communication between KNX and, and thermostat here you uh, need the demand. And you can see how this is what happens internally, like the communication and the different parameters that are communicating via KNX. This is our, yeah, the, in the group monitor, you can basically see what's happening. And this is what happens in reality. So this is all on our side. And if you have any questions, we are most welcome to answer all right thank you very much um, very for this great presentation so that you also see who's talking yes we have so far two questions um let me start with the first question so uh, is the air zone cloud connection mandatory or optional that was like one of the questions uh well uh the web server yeah uh, the web server is uh, optional, but the thing is that we, um, the, the place where the web server is connected is the same port as the one we use for, for the KNX gateway. So, uh, in the case of KNX, it's not possible to, to have a cloud uh, control because we cannot uh, connect the, the web server. All right. Good. Okay. That answers that question. Then we have... Another question. So, um, what kind of thermostats does your IDU model uh, controller support? 
I don't know if I'm the frozen HVAC one. HVAC manufacturer systems. So on the website, you can see uh, all the compatibilities, but it basically works with any brand, like one of the, the, the biggest ones. I see like a Nathan, uh, uh, next question is coming in. How to check the compatibility of HVAC with AirZone? Do we need a mail? Uh, do we need to mail the part number of the AC or how do you do that? Well, we communicate uh, directly with the uh, indoor unit. So, uh, the, um, what, what the customer needs to know is the indoor unit's model. And then he can uh, check by himself uh, the compatibility at our website. So uh, if you visit our website, uh, www.airzonecontrol.com, uh, uh, there you have different uh, frames where you can uh, check the compatibility. Okay. One important thing is that if you are, for example, if you have an AC unit that is compatible with a do, maybe it's not compatible with all the systems. So you have always to know what kind of airzone system are you going to install and then uh, check the compatibility. Uh, we are showing you right now uh, on the screen uh, the compatibility checker. It's really easy. You only need to select the HVAC brand, then you select the indoor units model, and then you will get the airzone reference. Ah, uh, I would like yes. also to highlight that uh, due to the fact that the AC developed so fast, if uh, the customer doesn't find the AC model at our website, uh, they can send us an email and we will check it internally because sometimes maybe we have already developed the compatibility, but it's not, uh, hasn't, hasn't been published already. Right. Yet. Always it's worth asking fun. then, right? Good. Thank you very much for that answer. Um, let's move to another question. Are you planning to add new KNX interfaces in your catalog? We okay. don't have a, a. It's basically our interfaces, our our thermostat. We don't have a catalog of um, KNX interfaces. It's basically the communications is, is done with the communication gateway. So in order, like um, it's just improvements on the communication gateway and that it's uh, every um, X years. As I said before, we had a, a previous one that was compatible with our uh, previous systems and currently we have a new uh, new one that um, allows better uh, integration. It's basically, it's, it's we don't have uh, interfaces as you said, it's just uh, the main uh, object, like uh, device that you will need is either the the gateway or the A2 to in order to integrate with KNX. Where we are talking in terms of KNX integration, what differentiates uh, the AirZone interface from others in the market? So why should we choose you? Well, uh, first of all, we develop everything by ourselves. It's manufactured in Europe. So uh, right now we, we are facing uh, a complicated situation in Europe and we have to, to push the the, indus the industry here in Europe, of course, but besides this, uh, we are the only HVAC control uh, company specialized on one uh, on one side in uh, controlling and controlling the AC, uh, but also um, we are the only one that can offer the control of the AC and the radiant elements for one sing from one single thermostat, and I think that's. That's really important because uh, end users don't want to have two different controllers on the wall. Uh, so that's one important thing. Uh, I think that this kind of, we have a really good uh, technical support. Of course, we are KNX members. Uh, you can check it uh, on KNX uh, website. And uh, we have our projects department. We speak a lot of uh, different uh, languages uh, at the company. So for example, if a German customer calls us, we can give them technical support uh, in German and not uh, in English. So that's some facts that I think that uh, give value, added value to, to the system. Perfect. Right. Good. Then maybe the last question before we then move on. Is it mandatory to have at least one air zone, blue zone thermostat 
or uh, like if we have a KNX thermostat and air zone gateway. So the question is, is it like actually mandatory to have one well, blue zone thermostat? Install it's not mandatory, but for the commissioning it's mandatory. So what we uh, use, it's, it's, you need one for the commissioning. So what we recommend is to have one uh, at least, at least, because it's better to have uh, one blue face uh, per zone. But uh, if it's not possible, uh, you need at least one for the commissioning, and then you can uh, hide it uh, with the with the Indo unit. Yes, I just want to add, it's not necessary to have our thermostat visible. It's as, as she said, it's it's just for the commissioning of the errors, and and it will make the uh, job easier. So it's not you don't need to have it visible. You it can be hidden behind the Indo unit, at least for the resolution of the of the errors it's, it's we recommend it thank you everyone for attending and, and we hope it's it's been interesting and as you you can always contact us on our website arizonacontrol.com thank right. you thank, thank you. you bye thank you very much i would say everybody have a great day stay safe and see you next time here with knx bye bye